there's a very big difference between what occupation means in the popular imagination and what it means in law. So in the popular la imagination, uh, for something to be occupied or not occupied, what we mean is that someone is there who doesn't have a right to be there. Right? Um, so I'm going to put that aside, what, what it means in the popular imagination. I'm just going to talk about the law. Right? The, the, the way the law works is there's a, a set of rules that apply when territory is considered to be occupied, and there's a certain set of preconditions in order for those rules to apply. Um, they're not precisely stated in any treaty. You have to sort of work them out by a combination of reading the, the documents and by historical practice. But in general, the laws of occupation is thought to apply when territory is captured in a war, when the territory is captured without uh, a good claim of sovereignty by the country that's capturing it, and where the uh, country that captured it, continues to maintain control without a peace treaty. Now, those are the uh, uh, general conditions. Now, is the West Bank occupied territory under this general understanding? It's difficult to say that it is. Why? First of all, there is a peace treaty. There's, there's actually several peace treaties, but um, the territory is held now by Israel since 1967 as a result of a war with Jordan, but the war with Jordan has ended. The war with Jordan ended in 1994 with a peace treaty, and it's generally understood that after a peace treaty, what remains is not something to which the laws of occupation apply. Um, it seems to me a fairly straightforward rule. Um, it appears to be the rule that's followed everywhere else in the world. Uh, and so I, I can't see why it would not be followed in the case of Israel. Now, there's also some disputes about um, whether the sovereign status of the West Bank matters. Uh, Jordan did not have sovereignty. Israel has a claim of sovereignty, one that, I'm, in my opinion, is not only better than Jordan's, but better than anyone else's in the world. But the, this is a matter of dispute. How much does that matter? Does it matter that there's a better or worse claim of, uh, of sovereignty. But the central issue, I think, if there's no war, there's no belligerent occupation. One other thing to remember is that Israel, since 1967, in most of the West Bank, has applied voluntarily the rules of occupation. That is, it has limited itself. It has said that we abide by the rules of occupation. Now, in that sense, um, most of the, the West Bank has been occupied since 1967, and when you see Israeli court judgments dealing with the occupation, that's what they're dealing with. Israel's voluntarily accepted these obligations. In that sense, the West Bank has been and will continue to be um, uh, occupied until Israel changes its mind or it reaches a deal with the Palestinians that changes that.